You know, I think uh, we showed a lot of resiliency um, in how we played. Uh, you know, we came out and had a really good first series. Uh, you know, they tried to hit us with a couple runs plays, and then they tried to go to the pass, and I think we honestly held them to doing neither. Uh, you know, they're going to make a couple plays here and there. Um, but overall, I think that we did a really good job of being resilient, uh, holding in positions that we might not have had great field position to start. Um, but, you know, at the, bottom, at the end of the day, I, I just love these guys on defense, and I told them that during the game. I was like, I was like, hey, I love you guys. Just keep fighting, keep clawing, like just do your job every play and do what you can. Gary, you and Sean are close. You've been here a long time together. Yeah. How hard is it to see uh, him struggle so badly, get benched, and have you said anything to him? I haven't yet. Uh, you know, I know that sometimes uh, – I know that Sean's going to be hearing a lot from a lot of people. Um, and I i mean, the guy is a warrior. No one ever has a question whether he's a warrior. Uh, he works hard every single day he is here. Uh, whether that is in the weight room, the training room, or on the practice field, he's working his tail off. Um, he's came here and been given more bad injuries than about anybody on this roster. And he's fought his way back. Um, it's not the last you're going to see of him, I can tell you that. Uh, and he wasn't in there in the locker room crying. He wasn't in there moping either. And he wasn't like that on the sideline. And he's not going to be like that. That's not who Sean is. And he's going to come back on Monday. And he's going to be working to get to beat New Mexico. And that's just how it's going to be from him. Uh, that's why, you know, if I had to go to war with a guy, I'm freaking bringing him with me. And I, I mean, the same thing's going to continue. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I think in both of these losses that we've had, uh, you can turn on the film, and it's not that the talent and the effort wasn't there uh, from this team. Uh, it's not, it's not an issue of uh, of talent. You know, there's been years in the past where you can say a team just flat out beat you, and I don't think that's the case. Um, I think that, you know, we just got to be able to uh, start fast on both sides of the ball. Um, and just keep rolling, you know, because we have that there. And this is this is the tightest team, the most family-like team, the most loving team I've ever been around. And I've been around a lot of guys and a lot of teams, but this is the closest team. And, you know, when it hurts for fans, when it hurts for everyone, I can tell you how bad it hurts all, all of us because we go out there and battle every week, and we battled all summer and winter. And so it's just as it's, – it's really frustrating for us, but – you know, the great thing is, is we're going to come back and have great attitudes this week and we're going to go beat New Mexico. And we're just going to keep going from there because at the end of the day, it's two losses and they aren't fun, but we can still control what we can control and that's to win out. And we have every bit of a chance to do that and all the talent and, you know, the coaching and everything to do that. So we just got to control what we can control. Sorry. Um, you know, uh, we were, we were, uh, you know, we obviously wanted to see the sack numbers go up, but we knew going into the game that, you know, playing defensive line isn't always just about the number of sacks you get, or the defense isn't always about just the sack number. And I think that's one thing you have to recognize is how many times does he have does he have a clean pocket to step into? If he has a clean pocket to step into and he's dicing us up but we have five sacks, is that really like good, you know? And so that's one thing I think that we were doing a good job on is making making him move in the pocket, trying to get his eyes to drop. And I think we were helping the guys in the back end with that. Um, now, if you look at it uh, vice versa there, there, there was sometimes where we didn't and the guys in the back end had it handled. And that's when we got him to run around and got him before a first down or something. So um, with a guy like that, you just can't let him step up. And I think as a D-line, we let him do that today. And besides, I think one scramble, he didn't get out all day. So, you know, I was happy with that aspect. But there's time, we just got to we just gotta try to get, you know, try to get the ball. Uh, and that's one thing we're going to focus on is that's where you can create turnovers, those getting sacks and sack fumbles. And that's what we need to do today to get better field position for the offense. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, you know, I think for me is just to keep just approaching the week like we approach, you know, even like winter conditioning or fall camp or whatever, you know, we set out these goals and some guys are going to feel completely deflated. Well, the Mountain West is a good conference this year and teams are going to fall, you know, and so we can't let, we can't hurt ourselves more. And so I think that's what I got to preach is just control what we can control and keep working every day because if we keep working every day and we keep getting better um, because we're going to face, you know, a tough stretch and if we're playing our best football there, we're going to set ourselves up for still reaching our goals, you know. I think that's the most important thing is, you know, maybe people on the outside are going to say the season's over, the season's not over. We just got to keep going at it. And I can tell you, those guys are going to keep going at it. Yeah, people are mad right now, but I know this team, you know, more than anyone and guys are going to show up and play and I promise you that.